What is going on, Geeks Unite the Clans here, back in yo life with another episode, another day of our week at the Rusty Lake Hotel. We have served three dinners, gotten three, two, and one stars, which means I'm on pace for a zero this episode, but that's cool. I think we're going to try and find Mr. Boar, because I vaguely remember his recipe is involving red wine and something else. I don't remember, but he was on the first floor. So we're gonna mess around with that, and it looks like there's a minus one floor. This this is a neat game for two bucks. I'm having a good time playing it. What do we got here? Whose room? Mr. Deer is no longer under us. He's inside our bellies. That's right, we fed him. Served him up. He's the best meal I've served. Room three. Now let's not try the pheasant. The boar is the one I want to try because I remember his recipe. Yes. Let's enter Mr. Boar. Not his recipe, his... Yeah, the recipe, I guess. Hello, sir. Bring me a sandwich. These are some some rude guests. I invite you to my damn hotel. So there's an axe there. This will be interesting. There's a candle. Can I tie this to here? Nope, clearly not. I kind of want an axe. Oh, maybe I can. Yeah, put it down. And now tie it to the axe. Nope. Clearly not. Okay, work in progress. Make me a sandwich? Bring me a sandwich. Alright, maybe I don't have to make it. Maybe I just need to find it. Oh, this is not a good sign. That's some bread. Which, I assume, will need some lettuce. Alright, this is going easy so far. Give me some tomatoes. Give me some cheese. Give me some matches. Hmm. Okay, more bread will be required at a future date. That is a key to a puzzle, clearly. New wallpaper in this room, which is neat. Still has... Oh, don't go back that way yet. Go over here. See what's hiding in this room. It's a medieval-style shitter filled with boar shit. Interesting. Okay. I hesitate. No, I guess that's what you do. You make him a poop sandwich, and that's... There you go. Okay, so this is the key. What was it? A little circle of blue with two circles of red. Very easy. Unless... Right. You need to get all the blue moved up there. This is not that hard. There you go, which is a gun. An opium pipe. What is, oh, look, open this too. Oh, there's another secret hatch there. Okay, look at this. Some teepee, interesting. And a rose. By any other name is still a rose. Petals, pull all the petals off. Okay. Opium, that wasn't a rose, I guess it was a poppy. So we've got some opium, we've got an opium pipe, and a letter. Dear Mr. Ambassador, I was in full- he's a- he's a boar, by the way, so his voice would probably be quite hog-like. I was informed by a mutual friend about your addictions and anxieties. I want to invite you to Rusty- oh, wait, this is a letter from Mr. Owl. Damn it. Dear Mr. Ambassador, I was informed by a mutual friend about your addictions and anxieties. I want to invite you to Rusty Lake. Our excellent mental health and fishing facilities will give you some rest. Mr. Owl, and he has got the black snap, so that is the key that we're going to get. Speaking of keys, need one for that. What does this plant do? Anything? Nope. And we're back to Mr. Boar. Now let's see what can be put on the end of this string. I know this lantern can, but we'll save the candle for something else. Got matches to put the string there. Ah, yes. Smoker the opium. Get lit up. This dude's about to be on another planet. Now what? He's just puffing on opium and that's it? He asked for a sandwich, now I'm getting him high as hell. Toilet paper. The hell is toilet paper gonna have to do with any of this? Oh, the room's getting smoky. The room's getting very smoky. That's gonna change things. Change what things? 
There's monkeys I haven't even messed around with yet. I haven't looked out this window. I still need a key. I bet I get it from those damn monkeys. Lord. Where are the monkeys? Hell. Whoa. Oh, guys, he hotboxed the room. And we are in a freaked out opium trip right now. The room is gone. All that's left is a dark, smoky ass forest. The thing's hiding in trees. I don't see anything hiding in these trees. There. You crow bastard. I'll find you. I'll find you wherever you go. They just keep moving. The back trees and the front trees are moving in opposite directions. It's weirding me so out. I guess I just gotta keep clicking on this thing. Unless there was... Oh, I see you hiding there. You aren't who I think you are. You are the waiter. Who provides me with a blade in my opium haze. You know what to do. Wow, that opium trip was wild. You know what to do. Cut him open. Bring me a sandwich. Oh, maybe I don't know what to do. Cut the string. Cut this. I don't know what to do. Another loaf of bread? Oh. It's a boar shit sandwich? There's no meat to go in that sandwich. I guess pigs are famous for eating their own poop, right? Finally! How is it? Tell me how it is. I'd love to know what you think of my sandwich. Well, he's clearly satisfied. Is he on the shitter? Yes, he is. I had a feeling. Stupid. Alright, maybe he left something behind for us on his bed? Or maybe I can do something differently now that he's gone. Huh, I really want to get that axe on this string. Am I insane for thinking that's how it's supposed to go? Okay. Okay. I still need a key. It must come from these. There's a puzzle. So blue, red, green, red, no. Okay, blue, red, green, red, blue, green, green again. Blue, I'm guessing it, red. It's gotta be red. Oh, I don't even remember the pattern. Oh, I've done it. That was amazing. I don't know if there's some key to figuring that out in this room and I just ignored it. I don't know what it is. But speaking of keys, look what old UTC has now found. Unlock this. Open it. Aha, there's a pattern back there for which either the candle or the match. All the blue on the right. Okay, sick. Oh, it's another code, another secret. All the blue on the right. <laughs> I think I got this. Yes, a hammer, which can be used for smashing little monkeys, for breaking through this window, for... Attaching to this string. For hitting this axe out of its position. Which is actually what I'm supposed to be doing. And now, there's an axe on the ground that I must lower the string to. This is exactly what I wanted it to be. That axe and this string together. Cha-ching. You ain't gonna see nothing coming, fool. I'm gonna drop a mother effing axe on your stupid boar head, and I'm gonna feed you to the pigeon and the rabbit. No, the pigeon. No, she's dead. The pheasant. Oh, there's only one person left for dinner tonight? Okay, get out of here. This is not where I need to be. Give this fool some toilet paper. Where, where are you at, big bastard? Uh, oh, here. You need this? Well, 
That's disgusting. Do I have to keep doing this? Or is he back on his couch? Yes, he's back on his couch. Oh, I haven't found the other things that I require. What are the other things that I require? Red wine. I don't know how to get these things. L lettuce. Screw it. I say we just drop this axe on this fool's head. Knife. That worked. Like a mother effing charm. You're so dead, you boar. Red wine and tomatoes. Screw it. UTC isn't here. About 100% completion, I'm here. To show you guys what this game's all about. And I think we can do that without getting tomatoes and red wine. Screw your stupid recipes. I don't know how I got it all right the first time, so... I think it's a miracle that I managed to get more than one star. Oh, there's the white wine. Right. There's the white wine. So to, I get it. I had to kill her to get the red wine from her. I see. So that I could use it in the recipe. The tomatoes. That's not a tomato. Tomatoes must have been hiding somewhere. Who knows. But let us have a look. Uh... You not have another key for me? Yes, you do. And let's go talk to old What's-His-Face. Boar ribs? Yes, I want you to cook boar ribs. Yeah, I guess there is an order to do this in if you want to get 100% completion. I ain't too worried about that. The fourth dinner served to the adorable pheasant is a rack of ribs. A rack of big boar ribs. Verdict? Well done! Oh, yes! Night falls, and the guest goes to their her room. There's only one left. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to episode four. In the next, we will deal with Mrs. Pheasant. But to end this one, I got one more key, and I got one more place to put it. Oh, and then what happens after we kill Pheasant and we unlock this? Maybe there is a sixth room, and there'll be a sixth episode, but this is the end of the fourth. I'm Unite the Clans. Thank you guys so much for watching my playthrough of uh, the Rusty Lake Hotel, and I'll see you back here in the next episode. So you're still on pan with water goes here. Fat duck goes in it? No. Fat duck could go in the oven? No. Yes, he could. Close that door, open that up. What do we got? We got a little roast duck. Too hot, too hot. Use the knitting needles to get it. Use the, use the scissors to just... Let's look at it from a distance. 